Everybody here with Rolex rankings number 17, Shen Shen Fang. Here is our 2012 KPMG Women's PGA winner and the Olympic bronze medalist. Shen Shen, it's been a hot couple days here in Atlanta, <laughs> but uh, you said you're just going to practice today. How are you feeling as you get ready for this major championship? Well, I uh, came in Sunday night and I played nine holes on Monday and uh, 18 holes in the program yesterday. And I think this is a really, really beautiful golf course. And uh, I knew that. Um, um, they actually held quite a few PGA championships here before, but it's the first time for the ladies here, so I'm very honored to be here. And uh, it's a very challenging course, especially with um, all the, the moisture on the ground. I mean, um, all the rain that they got in the past, I don't know, a few weeks, and uh, the course was playing really long yesterday. <laughs> so I would say um, it will be a very challenging week and also, um, you know, a very exciting week. You mentioned the fact that there's been so many PGA championships here. Um, how important is that to you to see the, the level of course being elevated as we go to events like this and Congressional next year in Baltusrol and Iran and last year and then the Olympic Club in Pebble Beach to see those, those elite courses coming into play? Well, I think it's a, it's a good thing. That means, you know, people are seeing, you know, how good um, the ladies are. And I do think that we, um, we actually deserve to... Um, to play on the same courses as the, the men's do. Um, yeah, so I think it's a, it's a great chance, I mean, to, to play on these fantastic co golf courses, like the top courses in the world. And yeah, I think I'm pretty sure we're going to play more and more. Yeah, so, you know, it's a great thing for ladies golf. Awesome. And you mentioned how long it is, certainly because it's wet and we hope it dries out. But how do you think uh, Atlanta, Adla excuse me, Atlanta Athletic Club fits up for your game? Well, um, I think it's playing longer, but the good thing about it is um, the greens are very soft. So it allow us to really go for the pins. And, uh, you know, even though, you know, maybe I'm using like a five, like a three wood in, onto the green, but still my balls can stop. Um, so, I mean, it, it's good or, you know, it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, but I would say that um, I've had um, a few good weeks this season so far um had a little chance um at the u.s open also so i i'm kind of confident about my game right now and you know i'm just really enjoying all the time that i can spend on the course with my boss i mean um and all the other you know playing partners in my team yeah because i i had so i had like 14 months off right so i uh, really really missed everything on the tour so now i'm just trying to enjoy um, and I'm not focusing on the, the results. Awesome. What is it like to see the fans back out there? It was such a strange year, and all the fans at, um, at Olympic Club and last week at Meyer and now coming back here, that's got to be a good feeling to see everyone outside the ropes again. Well, I wasn't at Meyer, so I didn't know that, um, you know, we actually have fans at Yes, we did. Oh, and then so certainly so many fans around that final green at Olympic Club. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I was really, <laughs> really surprised because actually um, that was my first tournament to see the fans after like a year and a half. And I wasn't sure what I would do. Maybe I would feel really nervous. <laughs> um, but actually seeing the fans back actually made me more excited and made me like gave me a little more drive and um, that, you know, to make me. Um, want to play better because uh, you know they came all the way here and they waited for so long um, and finally they can uh, watch us play live um, so you know I, I thought it was a it was a positive thing um, for our tour and for all the players and sponsors um, yeah I, I believe you know everything's going to get better and better and everything's going to be on the right check awesome we'll open it up for questions Bethany anything yeah. from you over there Shen Shen, uh, this is the final week for Olympic qualifying. I just wondered what your medal, your Olympic medal, what kind of impact that had on golf in China? Well, I would say that, uh, uh, well, there are more and more junior players playing. I would say that's the biggest difference um, because I think before the Olympics, uh, like 2015, I think like the registered junior players, you know, in China, I mean, like all those players, if they want to play in a tournament in China, mm -hmm. they will have to register with the CGA first. Mm -hmm. So like, I think there were only like three, little more than 3000 junior players um, mm -hmm. on 2015. But and then I think the number now is maybe 
a hundred thousand. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's yeah. After these five or six years, I mean, it uh, it really changed. And uh, wow. Yeah, I believe that you know if uh, you know when we only had like one hundred, probably a hundred or two hundred of uh, ladies pros, and we can have a bronze medal medalist at the Olympics and also um, like maybe 10 players on the LPGA or well, I think you know Chinese are really good at <laughs> playing golf so if we can have more people playing starting to play golf now I believe that you know we're going to have more and more like world number ones and Olympic medalists coming up. How does that make you feel just personally knowing that that your direct result had such an amazing impact on growing the game. I wouldn't say that it was only about my result. I mm. think it was because that golf was back in the Olympics. Mm. So to allow people to actually get to know what golf was, mm -hmm. um, and you know, Chinese can be good at golf because before then, I would say most of the Chinese they would be like, oh, you know, golf. You know, it's a, it like it's a sport for maybe um, foreigners, like mm. not non Asians, mm -hmm. because. Um, we they didn't really show our um, tournaments on TV, so like people didn't really know that we actually had pretty good golfers mm. from the country. And because golf was in the Olympics on uh, at 2016, so people were like, "Oh, actually, oh, maybe it's different to what I was thinking, and maybe we should mm. start playing golf." Yeah. Ah, and, and I, oh, sorry. Um, to piggyback off that. So are you saying that what made the difference is people back home tuning in to watch diving, see golf, see one of their own do well and get hooked? Because you're a major winner, so they should have already known that there are, you know, Chinese golfers who are quite talented. Well, the first thing is they didn't even know what a major was. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because uh, if you don't know anything about a sport, you wouldn't even know, you know, oh, it, what LPGA or PGA <laughs> meant and what like ma what did major win uh, mean? I mean, they they didn't have a clue. Yeah. <laughs> so um, even though yes, I did win a major, but they'll be like, oh yeah, maybe she won a big tournament. Yeah, that was it, <laughs> because they didn't really understand what yeah. a major meant um, to golf in golf. Yeah. Um, so I think the Olympics was still the the most important thing because that that would let everybody to get to know about golf first and mm -hmm. um, you know maybe more and more people will start playing it and then they'll know more about the game and they, they will understand what a major sure. winning uh, I mean sorry and they'll understand what um, like a winning what winning the major means yeah. yep and then a quick follow do you understand why men would opt out of the Olympics it seems like it was a, a one of your best experiences ever like there are many well there are a handful of top men who have opted out no top women have opted out why do you think that is well first of all i have to say that i don't actually know <laughs> many of the the male players yeah um and i would say the last olympics was the same thing that uh, i know that a lot of the the male players actually pulled out from the olympics but um, ladies, we almost everybody went um, because I think it's it was a great chance for us to to actually um, play on the same golf course as the the men and just to show the world, you know, how good the ladies golfers are and how much we really want to support the ladies golf uh, yeah. to grow. So I think um, you know, including you know what the LPGA has been uh, has done a great job um, providing like you know, this great tour for us to, to showcase ourselves. Um, I think we should do everything that we can to support the game and ladies golf. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, um, maybe most or even all of the ladies that get in will go to Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. yeah I just want, I'm curious about television now. How many events can are televised in China now? Has it changed since the well, Olympics? Um, I, to be honest, I mean, uh, I think, I think uh, this year they are showing the LPGA tournament on, on one television channel, but mm -hmm. I think in the past three to four years, I didn't think so. They only showed oh. the men's European or the men's PGA. 
Yeah, so um, even though we were playing, maybe playing well over here, but they, the people back home didn't get to see it. Uh, why do you think they're doing it now? I think it's a good thing yeah. <laughs> that they're doing it uh, to let people to see us um, perform in China. Um, why? I don't know. <laughs> but I would say that, you know, plus, like, including myself, you know, coming back this year, um, I, I'm playing kind of well. Kind of well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, like, you know, you see, like, uh, Yulu and Janet, um, Xi Lin, I mean, they're playing really well recently. So I think maybe finally people are like, ooh, we actually have, you know, like top golfers, uh, top female golfers in the, in the world from China. So a lot of people maybe want to see us play, and maybe that's why. I don't know, but I think it's a great thing. Agree. We have a question through from the Zoom. Um, we've had some questions about uh, yardage books and greens, readings books, players for them, players against them. Uh, what are your thoughts? I know the PGA Tour has talked about banning them. Well, I, I don't know much about um, what the others are you know, standing for. But on my side, I think um, to have the green book, I think it's they're trying to help the players to read the greens and speed up the pace. That's what I thought. And I would say that, you know, when I'm not sure about, you know, the lines um, on the greens and I can have a green book that everybody can, can get, I mean, I think it's fair. Um, and, you know, uh, if I can have a green book to, to help me to read it, I mean, to make it from 80% to 95%, I think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But I do understand, you know, um, that maybe some people would be against it because they would think, you should use your eyes. Like reading greens is one of your one of your skills that you you should have as a top golfer in the world, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't rely on, you know, maybe green books like that, like man-made. Um, so I I do understand on both sides, and I'm fine either either side. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, looks like you have a question. I'm just, yeah, I'm just curious when you when you play a course, whether it fits your eye or, or not. Does it make a difference if it's got some history behind it, like being at Olympic two weeks ago, or or, or even the history at Mission Hills? Does it do anything to the way you play? Well, I I don't think there's like a type of golf course that I wouldn't like to play on, <laughs> because I, I just feel so appreciated that you know we get to play on so many beautiful golf courses, whether if they are famous or not. And I always get a question, like people ask me, like, what's your favorite golf course? It's like almost every amateur in my program group will ask me that. And I say, I actually don't have one favorite. I just like a lot of them. I mean, they're all different. Um, maybe different, like you said, maybe different stories behind, different history, different design, um, different type of grasses, different weather. I just like, I just enjoy, um, you know, all of them because this is part of golf. Um, we are playing, you know, in different situations, and I think that's what makes golf really interesting and challenging. Uh, it's a fun part, so I like uh, most of the golf courses. Maybe we should ask you which course you don't like. I don't know. I don't really have one because I think, you know, uh, whether the golf courses are challenging or kind of easier, um, it's fair to everybody. That's what I'm really focusing on, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, oh, and oh, Shen, can, appreciate can, it. We have Yuka waiting right outside, yeah. so if you wouldn't mind, step in that. Thank you so much, Shen. Thank Shen. you. Have a good night.